James Bamford is an author and intelligence expert who's written extensively about the CIA. Obviously, this isn't the first time we've heard details about so-called enhanced interrogation techniques, which others describe as torture. In your view, how egregious are the revelations about these latest techniques? I think they're very egregious. I mean, you have one instance where um, they're basically threatening uh, one of the detainees with a uh, uh, a power drill. In other words, uh, either talk or uh, you're going to have the uh, uh, the end effects of a power drill. So it's very serious, uh, that and threatening uh, death with a gun and so forth. So um, it's certainly ser serious enough that the uh, uh, Obama administration appointed a special prosecutor today. Are these in direct violation of the Geneva Conventions? And if so, how significant is that? Well, threatening death is a, uh, a form of torture. It's considered torture by the United States, and the United States uh, has agreed to uphold the uh, anti-torture provisions of the international treaty, so it certainly uh, is a violation, yes. Do other civilized nations engage in, in these methods? Well, I've never, I've been following the CIA for a long time, and I've never come across any other major westernized uh, intelligence agencies uh, engaged in, in torture. I haven't come across any, not that they may, may not be or may be doing it, but I haven't seen any examples of it. What about those who say making threats against a detainee's family is acceptable if it's effective and prevents another massive terrorist attack? Well, again, uh, the, the problem here is that eventually these things come out, and the United States looks very bad for doing these kind of things, and you get to the point where are we creating more terrorism uh, by allowing the, the world to see us acting in this way? In other words, having more people be angry at us, angry enough to uh, commit terrorism against the United States, so it may be very self-defeating in the end. So you are concerned these latest revelations might further embolden fundamentalists and be used as propaganda to recruit would-be terrorists? Well, sure. Uh, after Abu Ghraib, there was an enormous upsurge in hatred towards the United States, and that hatred is what drives uh, terrorism. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if the revelations that are coming out now are going to uh, create a similar situation, not quite as bad, but similar to uh, what happened with Abu Ghraib. And finally, Mr. Banford, why would the FBI be able to handle these interrogations any better than the CIA? Well, the FBI actually had a very good reputation uh, over the past uh, few years in terms of these cases. They, uh, they were really the only people that objected to the way that these uh, detainees were being treated. Uh, while the CIA was engaged in these activities, the, the FBI was uh, basically protesting against them. So. They've shown in the past that they're more uh, adept to handling these things than the CIA. James Bamford. Mr. Bamford, thanks very much. My pleasure, Katie.